y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jemaya if you're new here in today's video as the title states I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these curls with the flat iron and also stay tuned for some um, tips on maintaining your curls at the end of this video so yeah let's get into it all of the products that I use will be down below so just check the description box when I'm flat ironing my hair I like to section off my hair in two sections let me show you how big this section is then I wrap the flat iron, and as I wrap the flat iron, I bring my hair around. As I wrap the flat iron, bring my hair around and keep turning. As you go down your hair, keep turning. And this is gonna give you like a tighter candy curl, I guess you could say. So many hair didn't catch into that, but. This is gonna give you a tighter curl. If you prefer your hair to be more towards the, I mean, your curls to be more towards the bottom of your hair, I'm gonna show you what I mean. It's easier to show than explain. And when I curl my hair, I like to take like vertical sections instead of horizontal section. So, what I was saying is, okay, let me do this one that way. If you like your curls towards the end of your hair, you won't start wrapping until you get towards the end or like halfway through your section. I hope that makes sense. But I didn't do this good enough. And that will give you like the, just the bend at the ends. But if you start wrapping at the top, then it'll give you a full curl. I don't really care for like uniform curls. So I do some going, these are going in opposite directions. You see this curl going this way and that one's going out. So you can either curl it away from your face or flip the curl inwards. Um, so yeah, you do the same technique with like turning and wrapping but you just turn the um i mean you just turn your flat iron the other way the opposite way i hope this makes sense oh this thing is hot Now, when you get to the front of your hair, I feel like this is when you should do like more. This is when you should do the curls the same way. Just so your bang is not flipping different ways. So I'm gonna do these away from my face. You can also curl it like this, like downwards, how I'm doing it. It's the same type of curl, just from a different angle. This might be easier for some people. I curl my bang differently, just depending on how I decide to do it that day. Sometimes I do it like this. And sometimes I can do it like this. But as y'all can see, it's like giving, it's gonna get the same type of curl. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all what y'all shouldn't do. Not what you shouldn't do, but like, if you want for a certain type of curl, then you shouldn't do the next method I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'll be seeing some people curl their hair like this. And there's nothing wrong with this, but it's gonna give you a curl that's flipping back. Let me show you. It's gonna give you this fair faucet curl. So instead of going up and flipping your hair back, go under and flip your hair out. 
Oh, I can't remember if I um, explained this, but the reason I do my curls in the opposite way is because it gives your hair more volume. If you do all your curls in the same direction, then they're gonna start to like clump together and you'll constantly have to like drag your hands to your hair. If I'm going for a tight curl, like more of a spiral, a tighter spiral, then I'm gonna curl, I mean, then I'm gonna wrap and turn my flat iron as much as possible. Wrap and turn, wrap and turn. y'all see what I mean this one is so bouncy if I'm going for a looser curl then I'm just gonna wrap and drag my flat iron out drag drag as I turn you see what I mean so if you want a looser curl drag if you want a tighter curl keep wrapping All right, so I have three methods for maintaining my curls. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the pin curl. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a pin curl is, but take your curl and oops. this is the longest method. Um, but I think this one gives you the best results. So just wrap your hair up. So just wrap your hair up and pin it. Do this all over your head. Um, this method is gonna give you the most defined curls, I think. Second method is, shut up. My second method is the flexi rod. When you're doing this one, keep your, um, if you wanna like maintain the spiral curl and not really a flexi rod curl, or like, you know what I mean? The way, keep your hair flat on the rod instead of like rolling it if you would do a regular flexi rod set. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. And my final method would be just to do this. Just to do like a bantu knot with your hair. This is the easiest method. You can do like four, you can do six, eight. Some people even do one. Um, I think that the longer your hair is, the less bantu knots you can do. Because your hair is longer, you can wrap your hair more and the curls are gonna be super defined. But just remember when you're doing like, if you're doing a bantu knot method or the flexi rod method, your curls are gonna be more of a, a bantu knot out or a flexi rod set. If you do the pin curl, it's gonna keep these type of curls. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next one.